COVID-19 pandemic hit the world, only several children were infected by this virus. However, the total number of infected infants and children rocketed to 82,341 as of May 2021. Due to the increasing number of daily cases, children are discouraged from going out unless for emergencies, treatment, education or exercise purposes. In Malaysia, the movement control order was enforced in March 2020, which resulted in the close down of schools and required immediate attention as the health of the children and parents are at stake. There are three main problems related to childhood development during the COVID-19 pandemic, which are firstly, excessive exposure to gadgets, second, lack of indoor and outdoor activities, and third, lack of parents monitoring. This innovation project aims to explore three objectives in mitigating the adverse effects of social networking among children aged between 7 to 12 years old, namely, to investigate the perception of the parents, guardians, and teachers towards the gadget utilization for social networking among children, to conduct a comparative analysis on available social networking applications, and to outline features of a secure social networking application that is safe for children. Methodology For this innovation project, primary data collection was conducted through semi-structured interviews with four volunteers. These interviewees were selected on the criteria of having direct contact with children between 7 to 12 years old. It's a very good idea to expose them to the social network that just are uh, focusing on their age. Um, yeah, as you can see, we nowadays are approaching to the digital world and we want, uh, we want our, our kids uh, to know the uh, digital things and of course it can help them to increase their inter interpersonal skills too. In my opinion, I don't feel secure when they are using their social application. It is hard to monitor them when we are eating, bathing and working and so on. So, in this case happen, we cannot monitor anything they do, such as the content in the YouTube. We don't know what kind of uh, video that they are watching. So, this is the reason why I feel uh, not secure with this kind of uh, application. Yes, I think it is very suitable for them. It is because the teachers and also the students uh, can connect to each other and make the learning and teaching uh, session uh, become more easier or better for them. And also the children can socialize better. As for me, this social network is suitable for teachers preparing their teaching materials in a creative way. This will make the students enjoy their lessons and increase their achievement. However, the excessive use of gadgets can stun the kids' mental and emotional development. Thus, it was still the parents' responsibility to be clear and transparent of the rules in order to limit the usage of gadgets. Secondly, the study collected data on the features of a variable social networking website in July 2021. For this purpose, the second method is to compare the function, interface and issues related to the popular social networking such as Facebook and Delima. Two main inputs to develop a secure and practical social networking application for primary school children during COVID-19, gadget utilization and social networking behavior. The situation of gadget utilization and social networking behavior among the children aged 7 to 12 years old, interview feedback highlighted three critical findings. First, kids has been very attached to the gadget ever since the COVID-19 pandemic, which is almost difficult to control. Second, devices and connectivity to the internet has become necessary to deal with parents' work conditions and to learning for the kids. Third, the feedback from the parents, guardian and teacher implies that they all felt insecure with the existing social network and wanted a safe application for their kids that suit the interests of the young user and at the same time serve the concerns of the parent on the safety of children. Comparative analysis on Facebook and Delima features. First, one of the most significant issues is that Facebook can be source of cyberbullying. As people of all ages use Facebook, the younger generations tend to be bullied by older individuals. Facebook limits the minimum age to sign out to Facebook is 13 years old. Some of the children fake their date of birth to register an account on Facebook. Facebook is a social media site where individuals share their photos and other ideas with their friends and followers. It has lately come to attention that the user data is not secure. In 2019, there was an issue with children online safety due to the technical error in messenger keys. The 
the apps require parental permission before kids chat with other users. However, the loophole allows users to invite kids to group chat without proper monitoring, thus trigger a violation of privacy issue. The Digital Educational Learning Initiative Malaysia Delima was launched in June 2020 focusing on primary school kids. There are several weaknesses of this application which include the unattractive layout used in the website that use soft color and cannot attract children's attention. Besides, the Delima website only focuses on educational methods, include digital textbook, Microsoft Office 365 for free, and all Google services for educational purpose. But a structured website with a limited activities may demotivate users and more advanced children will lack interest in simplicity. Here, we are presenting to all of you Kegels. Kegels is an all-in-one platform for social networking which focuses on primary school kids. Why name Kegels? Kegels is a combination of kids and giggles that give a meaning of kids full of laughter and happiness. The main aim of Kegels is to be a platform for children to fulfill their leisure time with fun learning activities. Since color code impacts children's modes, behaviors, and also academic achievement, Kegels uses attractive colors to enhance children's learning process. What's make Kegels become more interactive? For sure, it new features of fun learning activities include games, quizzes, chats, stories, diaries, and also movies. For the gaming sessions, there are various types of arcade games such as cooking, puzzles, word searching, and many more that could be of their interest. Children can play games with friends in teams. Despite this, they can socialize better and make new friends just by playing games. Secondly is quizzes, where it is a combination of learning and fun. The fun-based activities quizzes are the best and faster way for children to learn about new knowledge. In this section, the quiz will test kids on the knowledge that they have learned including animation, pictures, words and others. The kids will aim to get the highest score and play again until they achieve the target which directly help them to strengthen their memories. Followed by chat platform. As texting and chatting are the most popular communication methods used by people nowadays, it could be included among kids too. By chatting platform, this application can help kids to text their friends even without meeting face-to-face. -face. Thus, it can help them improve communication skills and also social skills. Next are stories and diaries. In this section, kids can share their feelings, photos, videos, and anything related to their interests. This really helps to enhance their creativity as they can share ideas on what they are interested in such as music, art, study, and also others. By doing so, kids can boost their confidence to be more creative. Last but not least is movie. This application will be included films which appropriate for their ages. For instance, cartoons or any comedian movies which are suitable to be watched by the whole family. All the kids' movies have suitable lessons to be learned. They can also spend their leisure time by watching fun movies together with their friends as it requires concentration and attention while providing important messages which related to their life. It can also help kids to learn language words and also good values. Those who are slow learners or hard to catch up can focus on the body gestures used in the movies and directly help them to understand the meaning of the actions. It's okay. Try again. Wow! Cat. Say the word. Cat. Very good. Rabbit. Say the word rabbit. Amazing! Contribution of Kegels. Kegels contribute to Education 5.0. The Kegels contributes to education and is a potential platform for a structured online learning management system. The second function of Kegel is to assist educators in creating a fun and enjoyable learning process for kids. For Education 5.0, a meaningful learning experience should enable learners to learn in many ways, 
at any time on many platforms and from various sources, mainly through online platforms. Education for the primary school centered around the ability to read, write, count and becoming an observant that has critical and creative thinking style. Kegels would be a suitable application for kids to use even by teachers, guardians or parents. Firstly, Kegels help to develop interpersonal skills such as speaking and listening skills. Developing interpersonal skills is crucial for improving learning, communication ability, personality development and lifelong learning skills. Students with strong interpersonal skills would have a successful professional and personal life. Two levels of fine learning activities are firstly from the age of 7 to 9 years old and secondly from 10 to 12 years old. Both groups of fine learning activities will have a different level of knowledge that suits the age and according to the guidelines provided by the Ministry of Education. The fine learning platforms also offer significant subjects such as Bahasa Melayu, English, Mathematics, Design and Technology, Islamic Studies and others. This application also will help the teachers to prepare online learning sessions with all the learning materials provided. Moving on to the description of novelty for Kegels. The first one is it has limited hours for the user. Kegels need to follow the government requirements or rules and regulations under the Child Act 611 in 2001. A unique feature of the application is to have a limitation of time to access. The accessible time will be accurately 12 hours per day, and there will be two sessions from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. and from 2 p.m. until 8 p.m. The parents can freely choose when their children can access this application, and when they reach a limitation time of 4 hours per day, the application will be blocked automatically and can only be accessible the next day. Next, the second novelty is it has safety and privacy screening. This application needs to be registered and verified by using an identification card. It will take less than 24 hours to be confirmed. The reason is that identify verification can guarantee a genuine parent or guardian as patron or host. Despite that, it prevents the user from acting without authority and establishing false identities or committing fraud. It can also help to prevent any bullying and pedophilia issues. This feature could guarantee the kid's safety following the Malaysia Child Act 2001 and the Sexual Offences Against Children Act 2017. Third novelty of the application is it allows monitoring by parents, guardians or teachers as the host. Parents will be notified whenever their kids sign in into Kegels. They can trace and track the records of activities and hours accessed by their kids. Similar social networking applications are available abroad but none is offered in Malaysia. Therefore, Kegels is the first for Malaysian kids. Last but not least, Kegels will be available on smartphones, tablets, computers or laptops. The application is user-friendly and downloadable from Play Store, which is for Android users, while App Store is for Apple users. So it could give all the primary kids an opportunity to enjoy and have fun through the social networking application named Kegels. To pull the curtains, Kegels is a potential solution to the new lifestyle embraced by the children in Malaysia during the COVID-19 pandemic and beyond. The unique features of a social networking application are the only way forward to intentionally address the three main problems facing the parents, guardians and teachers on children development. This study offers some potential features to solve excessive exposure to gadgets, lack of indoor and outdoor activities, as well as lack of parents monitoring. In principle, Education 5.0 is aligned with the online fun learning activities. So it can be said that this study provides a practical implication to parents, guardians and teachers to explore alternatives to their misery while the children can enjoy a better life and well-being.